The Voyager Journey to the New World Hi guys today for our interesting topic is Amazing Voyager The Journey to the New World. I hope this journey will more impressive to all of you and watch the full video and subscribe my channel and thanks for your support. 1. The Voyager 2 spacecraft was designed to explore the outer planets of our solar system, including Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The Voyager 2 spacecraft is an unmanned spacecraft that was launched by NASA on August 20, 1977. Its primary mission was to explore the outer planets of our solar system and study their moons, rings, and magnetic fields. Voyager 2's first stop was Jupiter, which it reached in July 1979. The spacecraft made numerous observations of the planet and its four largest moons, including taking detailed images of the Great Red Spot and the turbulent atmosphere. After completing its mission at Jupiter, Voyager 2 continued on to Saturn, arriving in August 1981. At Saturn, the spacecraft studied the planet's rings and its many moons, including Titan, the largest moon in the solar system. Voyager 2 discovered several new moons and observed complex interactions between the planet and its moons. Voyager 2 then flew by Uranus in January 1986, becoming the first spacecraft to visit this icy, gas giant. During its flyby, Voyager 2 discovered 10 new moons and observed the planet's unique tilted magnetic field. Finally, in August 1989, Voyager 2 flew by Neptune, the outermost planet in our solar system. The spacecraft made many important discoveries, including the discovery of six new moons and Triton, Neptune's largest moon. Voyager 2 also observed the planet's mysterious dark spot and its dynamic weather patterns. Overall, the Voyager 2 mission provided a wealth of scientific data about the outer planets and their moons, and helped us better understand the complex dynamics of our solar system. 2. The Voyager 2 spacecraft was specifically designed to explore the outer planets of our solar system, which are located beyond the asteroid belt and include the gas giants Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These planets are much larger and more complex than the inner, terrestrial planets like Earth and Mars, and they have a unique set of physical characteristics, such as thick atmospheres, multiple moons, and complex ring systems. The Voyager 2 spacecraft was equipped with a range of instruments to study these planets, including cameras, spectrometers, magnetometers, and plasma detectors. These instruments allowed Voyager 2 to gather data on the planet's magnetic fields, radiation environments, atmospheric compositions, and geological features, among other things. Voyager 2 was also designed to study the moons of these planets, which are believed to have played a key role in their formation and evolution. By studying the moons, scientists hope to gain insight into the history and dynamics of the entire planetary system. In addition to its scientific mission, Voyager 2 was also intended to serve as a messenger to the stars. Each Voyager spacecraft carries a golden record containing sounds and images that represent the diversity and richness of human culture and knowledge. The records were intended to be a message to any extraterrestrial intelligence that might encounter the spacecraft in the future. 3. The Voyager 2 spacecraft was equipped with a wide range of scientific instruments to gather data about the planets and moons it encountered during its mission. Here are some examples of the instruments on board. Cameras. Voyager 2 had both wide-angle and narrow-angle cameras that were used to take detailed images of the planets, their rings, and their moons. These images provided important information about the geology, atmosphere, and surface features of these bodies. Spectrometers, Voyager 2 had several spectrometers that were used to analyze the composition of the planet's atmospheres and surfaces. By measuring the wavelengths of light that were absorbed or emitted by different elements and compounds, scientists were able to determine the chemical makeup of these bodies. Magnetometers, Voyager 2 had magnetometers that were used to measure the strength and direction of the magnetic fields around the planets and moons it encountered. These measurements help scientists better understand the internal structure and dynamics of these bodies. Plasma detectors Voyager 2 had instruments that were used to detect and measure the flow of charged particles, or plasma, around the planets and moons it encountered. These measurements provided insight into the interaction between the planet's magnetic fields and the solar wind, a stream of charged particles that flows from the sun. Other instruments on board Voyager 2 included devices for measuring the temperature and density of the planet's atmospheres, 
devices for studying the properties of the rings around the planets, and devices for detecting radio waves and other types of electromagnetic radiation. All of these instruments work together to provide a comprehensive picture of the outer planets and their moons. 4. The Voyager 2 spacecraft is currently the only spacecraft to have visited all four outer planets of our solar system. It is equipped with a suite of scientific instruments, including cameras, spectrometers, and magnetometers, that allowed it to study the planets and their moons up close. Over the course of its mission, Voyager 2 flew by four outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. During these encounters, it made numerous scientific observations and discoveries, including the detection of new moons, the study of complex atmospheric structures, and the measurement of the planet's magnetic fields. 5. Voyager 2 is the only spacecraft to have visited all four of these outer planets. Its mission has greatly expanded our understanding of the outer solar system and has provided us with a wealth of scientific data that continues to be studied by researchers to this day. As part of the Voyager interstellar mission, both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft were equipped with a golden record, which is essentially a time capsule containing sounds and images of Earth, as well as greetings in 55 languages. The golden record was intended to be a message from humanity to any extraterrestrial life that might encounter the spacecraft in the future. The record contains a variety of sounds, such as music, animal noises, and even human greetings, as well as images depicting Earth's diverse cultures and landscapes. The record was designed to last for billions of years and was intended to be a testament to the creativity and ingenuity of human civilization. While it is unlikely that the spacecraft will encounter any alien life forms in the future, the golden record remains an iconic symbol of our species' curiosity and desire to explore the unknown. 6. Since its launch in 1977, the Voyager 2 spacecraft has traveled more than 11 billion miles, 18 billion kilometers, from Earth. It has flown by Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, and is now traveling in interstellar space, beyond the boundary of our solar system. Despite its great distance from Earth, Voyager 2 continues to send data back to scientists on Earth. It does so through the Deep Space Network, a system of large antennas located around the world that are capable of receiving the spacecraft's weak signals. The data that Voyager 2 sends back is still providing valuable scientific insights into the outer solar system and the nature of interstellar space. In fact, some of the data that Voyager 2 has sent back in recent years has revealed surprising new information about the edge of our solar system and the interaction between the solar wind and interstellar space. 7. During its mission to the outer planets, the Voyager 2 spacecraft discovered several new moons around Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, as well as a number of previously unknown rings. At Jupiter, Voyager 2 discovered four new moons, the Bay, Adrastia, Metis, and Amalthea. At Saturn, it discovered three new moons, Prometheus, Pandora, and Atlas. At Uranus, Voyager 2 discovered ten new moons, Cordelia, Ophelia, Bianca, Cressida, Desdemona, Juliet, Portia, Rosalind, Belinda, and Puck. And at Neptune, Voyager 2 discovered six new moons, Naiad, Thalassa, Despina, Galata, Larissa, and Proteus. In addition to these new moons, Voyager 2 also discovered several previously unknown rings around Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. At Jupiter, it discovered a thin ring around the planet's equator, as well as a halo of particles around the inner moons. At Saturn, Voyager 2 discovered a number of new ringlets and gaps in the planet's main rings. At Uranus, it discovered 11 narrow rings, and at Neptune, it discovered 6 narrow rings and several ring arcs. These discoveries significantly expanded our knowledge of the outer planets and their moons, and have provided scientists with valuable insights into the formation and evolution of our solar system. 8. While the Voyager 2 spacecraft is currently operational and continues to send data back to Earth, it is difficult to predict exactly when its power supply will run out. The spacecraft is powered by three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, which generate electricity from the natural decay of radioactive isotopes. These RTGs have been gradually losing power over the decades since the spacecraft's launch in 1977. Scientists estimate that the RTGs will continue to provide enough power to operate some of the Voyager 2's instruments and communication systems until at least the mid-2020s. 
However, the exact date when the power supply will run out is uncertain and depends on a number of factors, including the condition of the spacecraft's hardware and the performance of its instruments. Once the power supply does run out, it is expected that the spacecraft will continue on its trajectory through interstellar space, but it will no longer be able to communicate with Earth. Even after the spacecraft ceases operation, the scientific data it has gathered over the course of its mission will continue to be analyzed and studied by researchers for many years to come. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.